Hey folks, Quilly Dean here with um, another channel update, I guess, and a, again, a, an apology for the fact that the channel channels are going to be kind of lightweight, or light, I don't know, light on content for probably probably the next week still. Um, my wife, who many of you uh, who go to the live streams and things know as Essentia or Essentia Modica, uh, is still in the hospital. Um, she's there now, I've just come back after spending an entire day with her again. Um, I've basically been at the hospital with her every single day. Um, well, there's no basically. I've been at the hospital with her every single day. Um, and uh, they do have like limited visiting hours from 9 to 9. So eventually they send me home. Um, but by then it's too late to make any content. And I just obviously haven't really been in the mood for it. Um, as of tomorrow, she'll have been there a week. Uh, she may not be coming home tomorrow either. She might be another day after that. She's definitely past the... Um, the roughest parts. Things are definitely dramatically improved. Uh, things were complicated by the fact that it looks like there may have been a couple things going on sort of simultaneously and further complicated by a pre-existing condition. It was just, it was a mess. All we kept hearing from doctors, and we have seen a lot of doctors and a lot of specialists, and we keep hearing that she's a very interesting case, which is never the thing you want to hear from doctors. Um, yeah, also uh, today, uh, a neurosurgeon says, oh, I've never seen that before. The fuck? Anyway, um, she is, she is mostly better. She's passed all the, all, all the bad stuff. Um, and she's still being tested, uh, for like a bunch of things and, um, to make sure that, that, you know, nothing, nothing horrible happens. We're hoping to, to bring her home within the next couple of days. Um, <clears throat> she'll still be, you know, she'll still be ill. Um, but shouldn't need any medical care and she'll be you know plenty of meds at home um and i think you know she'll be okay we're gonna try to keep her off the internet for as long as possible off of moderating and all those things because she works really damn hard for my channel and a kiss for lux channel and briarstone's channel um and you know she'll need to take it easy there uh but yeah so for those of you who watch the programming channel especially uh that's to say youtube.com slash quilly teen creates um, you know, very big apologies there for the content not being there because we sort of had a regular schedule, um, <clears throat> and you guys have been have been short on that. You're not going to lose out on any content, uh, any any you know sort of programming tutorial videos that that should have gone out. They will still go out. They'll just sort of go out in bulk in one week or something like that. We'll catch up. You won't have missed anything, uh, but I really do apologize for the delay there. Um, <clears throat> and the people in the gaming channel, actually, I think so far you guys have been mostly okay. Uh, but I think all the pre-recorded video content has now more or less run out. So, um, it's probably going to take, uh, even once Essentia is back home and I'm not spending all day at the hospital anymore, um, it'll probably still take a couple of days to restart on the content. So, um, thank you very much for your patience, uh, in all this. Thank you everyone who has been tweeting and emailing and commenting on YouTube with a lot of really kind words and comments. Um, I keep reading them out to, to Essentia and... Um, and the, the Twitch messages she, she checks and, you know, you guys have been really awesome and really supportive and thank you very much for that. And hopefully she'll be home again, um, very soon. Again, every single day, every single day I've been like, yeah, tomorrow she's going to come home. And then every single day I get to the hospital in the morning and, um, you know, she gets, she gets the doctor's visit and. It's like, no, we're gonna we're gonna keep her another day, and we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna drain her body of more blood for tests, and we're gonna give her more CAT scans. I can't. She has had freaking blood tests, blood cultures, all this thing done every single day. They like take all these vials of blood out of like both arms every single day, and she's gotten CAT scans and um, and and lumbar punctures, spinal taps, and um, chest x-rays and so many things have been tested like and a lot of the tests are, are being run every single day and it's just incredible uh i posted a picture the other day on twitter of like her arm and it's just like all these things from like multiple ivs that she's had uh over the past week as they feed her like two separate types of antibiotics simultaneously and it's just wow 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 what a mess um <clears throat> and you know it's it's always frustrating for lots of different reasons. Um, I have to say, like the, the the nursing staff. This is like this goes out to uh, 
uh, Health Sciences North, the the one mega hospital um, in in Sudbury where we live. Uh, your nurses are fucking kick ass. Holy shit, have they been ever awesome and nice? And it's also sort of a teaching hospital kind of thing. And um, uh, so there's some student nurses that come in from time to time, which might sound bad. <clears throat> But they don't actually have, like, a bunch of patients. They mostly get assigned to one or two patients. They can't really do anything. They need, you know, someone there to supervise. Um, so it's like, it, it turns out that that's not so bad. But what actually ends up happening is you effectively have, like, one person just babysitting you and being at your beck and call all day because they're, you know, I don't know, unpaid students. I don't know if they're unpaid or not, but I think, I think they might be. Um, and, you know, and that's actually worked out really nice. Um, the doctors are like overworked and overly busy and all these things. I mean, certainly they've been, they've been working hard, but they, you know, the doctors only ever spend a few minutes with you in your room going over things and, and checking things and authorizing things. <clears throat> and it's the nurses that deal with you, uh, all day long. And they have been, they've just been incredible, the nurses. Um, you know, the doctors have been fine too, except for one fucker. And, <laughs> sorry, that's frustration coming through. Um... When, when we went into emergency, so what happened, like, she'd been sick for a few days. I, I said in my previous email, you can, or previous video, you can go and check on that. Um, but she'd been sick for a few days, and uh, we like, she finally went to see, um, it was like an after-hours clinic, I think, at that point, because her regular doctor's office had been, um, might have been closed or whatever. I don't, I don't remember anymore. Uh, so I think it was an after-hours clinic <clears throat> at, at her doctor's office. Um, and the doctor that she saw basically took one look at her and said, okay, you're going to emergency. And um, I'd actually written a letter saying, like, please, you know, check this and check this and do a CT scan and, and, and do all these things and, and whatever. But it wasn't really, um, it wasn't really like a doctor's order kind of thing. You know, it wasn't sort of a standing set of instructions to do. It was mostly a request because she'd just, we'd have to go to emergency and just check in there. And there would be the emergency doctor that would be the actual care person. So the letter wasn't like binding in any way whatsoever. Um, but that doctor basically, <clears throat> I was like, yeah, we're going to do all these things. This is like serious fucking shit. And, but <clears throat> I guess, I don't know. Like there was a couple of doctors they were seeing. And, um, I think one of them, the one who was like, yeah, yeah, no, we're, we're definitely going to do all these things. Um, either wasn't the head of the department or, or I, I don't know what it was, but some other dude somewhere was like, what? No, that's crazy. What? We're not going to do that. And, so a week later, after being at the hospital, basically the last couple of days have been doing these things that were in the original note that the original doctor thought, the, the original doctor we saw, and the, emer the original er emergency doctor we saw, thought like, yeah, these would be good ideas to do. And some, some fuckhead up the chain, like, vetoed that shit, which is really upset. I mean, it wasn't, you know, I'm, it didn't really lead to her being sort of any sicker or iller over the last week, but... Um, it is leading her to being sort of probably in the hospital an extra couple of days than we'd want because it's not so much that she needs to be in the hospital to not become critically ill as much as now she's in the hospital while they run these tests and do more observations that really they could have been they could have run earlier on in the pro process and almost certainly she could have been home by now um, but I don't know it's, we don't know. Uh, the doctors are being very cautious. Um, she was she was very sick, um, but things are definitely definitely looking up. And mostly, we at this point we figure that the best thing for her will be to be at home, where she can probably get more rest and get better food. Um, if you do follow us on Twitter, either me or uh, Essentia, or a kiss for luck. Uh, Essentia's phone has actually been broken since our our trip overseas, uh, and so she's been using a kiss for luck's phone, uh, and mostly using her Twitter as well. And uh, you know, you got to do. You can't. You have to distract yourself. You know, whenever things are happening. So you talk about trivial stuffs and things like that. So it's a lot of you know posting about hospital food and you know these things that don't really matter, but you you do it as a way to distract yourself. Um, but there is something to be said about uh, once we're at home, we can probably, you know, spend more time and effort making better food and, like, actually getting some goddamn fucking vegetables. It just, it's just astounding to me that, like, if you, <clears throat> if you went to the doctor and the doctor asked you, I think I said this in my last video, I don't remember. If the doctor asked you, hey, what do you eat on a regular day? And you told them that you ate the stuff that they serve you at the hospital, he'd be like, what the fuck? Like, why are you only eating like flour basically because it's all you know it's all toast and 
um, uh, well, they do offer like a peanut butter sandwich in every single meal or some pasta or something like that. Like it's all beige food. Like where are, where are the vegetables? Um, you know, your doctor's always going to be telling you eat some leafy greens and, and these things, get some color on your plate. And the plates just feel like they're always beige. Um, and so it's a fun thing to, for us to complain about, but honestly, we're excited about getting her home, uh, so that we can feed her, you know, vegetables shocking as that is uh which will probably help to make her feel better at this point um i think you know the best thing will be to just be able to get be an environment where she can rest where she's not you know there's not a bunch of traffic going on outside of her room and everything um and and all that so uh we're looking forward to that i think she is tired and bored being at the hospital um because hospitals are not fun places to be uh she wants you know she wants her television and netflix back like what a nice way to rest and recuperate uh you know sit on the couch and watch netflix i think that's going to be uh something that she's going to enjoy very much when she gets home i don't know if she's going to be home tomorrow it might only be on wednesday <clears throat> although speaking of wednesday uh there will be a live stream on wednesday I mean, unless something catastrophic happens. There will be a live stream on Wednesday because worst case scenario, even if uh, Essentia is still at the hospital, uh, her mother is going to be with her. Um, uh, so on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, as always, there will be a Civilization 5 stream. But that won't be the only stream on Wednesday. In fact, I will be streaming the new Master of Orion game. The new Master of Orion game that's being developed by like wargaming.net or whatever that company that makes like a lot of the i don't know free to play wargaming kind of wargaming's right in the fucking name i don't know they've got like an airplane game and a tank game and whatever i don't i don't know how these guys ended up with the with the master of orion license but they have it and apparently they're doing something that is supposed to be very in line with sort of Master of Orion 1 and 2 and nothing in common with Master of Orion 3, which goddamn doesn't exist. There was never a Master of Orion 3, no matter what you tell me. It's not a real game. Um, but I have I have a thing for it, um, and the uh, I can announce it. I can announce that there's going to be a stream and there's going to be some content on the YouTube um, as on the 24th, which is Wednesday. Um, but uh, I can't show anything before then, but I, I have it. I haven't actually loaded up yet, so uh, we will definitely be showing off that content, and it's going to be um, on the day or around the day when they might be going into sort of like a, a, a public beta for their early access or some damn thing like that. I'm not exactly sure about the details. I haven't looked at the game. I have no idea what it's like. Uh, no details whatsoever at this point. Uh, but Wednesday, there will be a live stream. I, <laughs> I don't know exactly what time it's going to start yet. Um, so most likely, it'll start earlier in the day or earlier in the morning, um, 10, 11, 12, something like that, Eastern time on the 24th. We're going to play it until 2. Then I will do the Civ 5 stream because a lot of people have come to count on that very specified time. We'll stream Civ 5, then maybe we'll go back to Master of Ryan at that point. We'll see about energy levels and different things like that. Um, <clears throat> there'll be another sort of formal announcement. Um, probably tomorrow I'll make a video for it or something like that. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to keep you guys up to date. Uh, you, you people are being extraordinarily patient and extraordinarily supportive. And again, uh, doubly so to the people who uh, who follow youtube.com slash quill 18 creates where um, I have I have promised these videos that are going to come out on average uh, t two videos a week um, and now we are well um, officially right now I'm behind by one video but uh, tomorrow they will definitely tomorrow Tuesday will definitely not be another video there so we'll very soon be at least two videos behind um, and honestly I don't know what the Thursday thing will look like uh, but my hope is my hope Hopefully, uh, Essentia will be back um, no later than Wednesday. Um, I'm crossing my fingers that she actually does come home tomorrow on Tuesday. Uh, but hopefully that will mean that I'll be able to start producing content again um, on Thursday. Because Wednesday will mostly be dedicated to that live stream for the Master of Orion plus the Civ Five. Um, but hopefully I'll start uh, producing recorded content again on Thursday. And one of my top priorities will be to restart the programming thing. Um, depending on on technical things like when I record, when I can uh, do the editing, how long editing takes. It may uh, or may not come out on Thursday. It might be, you know, a, a day or even another two days past that. Um, but very soon we'll be restarting our regular content. Um, but as I said in our Saturday stream, we did do a Saturday live stream where we played RimWorld, which was very fun uh, in there. Thank you everyone who, I don't know, has supported the channel over the years and made it so that it was possible for me to take effectively a week off of work uh, to spend 
every day at the hospital um, with my wife, you know, by her bedside. Um, there's a lot of jobs where that really wouldn't have been an option. Um, and, and, and so thank you, thank you for, thank you for letting me do that. Um, that really made a huge difference over the past week um, for me and for my wife you know, trying to distract her as much as possible and, and, and be entertaining and, um, you know, uh, play trivia games with her and we brought some card games and, 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 you know, board gamey type stuff and, uh, just chit chat. And also, you know, just having another person in the room when the doctor is talking to you because they talk so fast and there's so much technical stuff. And, you know, you, you remember like there were questions where, where, you know, we wanted to ask, but you remember it in the spot while well, having another person there, uh, really makes a big difference. And, um, and, and yeah, so thank you for giving that to me guys. I'll see you next time folks. Bye-bye.